Okay, so I am home for my trip and I arrived home to the most amazing science curriculum. Now I would start off by saying in kindergarten, I'm using the blossom and root. I'm going to switch when they get older. Now you can start this kindergarten, grade one, grade two. I'm telling you this curriculum, it's amazing. Like it, I just, I adore it. I'm not sponsored by it. No, are you kidding? I have like a hundred subscribers. No one reaches out to me to sponsor anything. So here, let's take a look at it. So these are, so it's a real science for kids product, okay? So what is chemistry? These are just the readers. So you don't have to get them if you don't want, um, but it's very, look at that. I mean, it's very basic and easy. It's got photos to explain stuff. I could not like these books more and they didn't have previews of them online. So I'm really glad that I got them. They came from the Real Science for Kids, which is my favorite science curriculum, but I'm also gonna show you the other curriculum that I love as well. So molecules, atoms and molecules meet, solids, gases, and liquids, acid and bases. I mean, what happens when you grab a bar of soap? So what I love is this is created by a homeschool mom and it's really like, it explains to it the way kids think. You know, sim simply, so you could start it in kindergarten if you wanted, you can wait too till they're older. This can be like your morning basket. And speaking of which, I have a video of morning baskets. So we got proteins, DNA. I got a video of morning basket ideas that you maybe have not heard of. So I'll do that, I'll film that next and I'll probably you know release it um, the day after this one. So take a look at those, like those are super cool. And these are just some of um, some ideas. Now human body theater as well, off topic, but amazing, amazing. So consider getting the Human Body Theater book. I just love it. It's about Act 1, the skeletal system, Act 2, the muscular system, Act 3, the respiratory system, Act 4, the cardiovascular system, and it goes on and on. So I don't know if I would start this grade 1. I did start it in grade 1, but you can go all the way up grade 2, grade 3, whenever your child is interested in it, right? you got to use your own judgment and don't feel bad about starting it later, especially if you have a neurodiverse child, but any child, don't feel bad. <laughs> all my crumbs yeah 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 um, about starting a curriculum later because studies show they learn it faster now let me get to where the real science where is it oh pause I gotta go find it so look at these books so this is so this is level one all right so this is the student textbook and then it also comes with oops the laboratory notebook I believe you can get the PDF I just at the time I didn't have the great printer I had now um, I got an amazing printer, which is like 7,000 pages for $40 of ink. It's an ink tank. But so because I didn't have that, this is the book one, the laboratory notebook and book one, the teacher's manual. And this is uh, book two, right? So now if you have older children, they have a summary of books that you can just go through. If you just want to like, I don't know, what do you call it? Like maybe go over it again. They got all these books. You can buy the chemistry, the biology, but like a, a summary of them. These are the full things. So they cover, and this is what I love about this. A couple things I love. I love how it's not busy work. Like the sunlight, I've shown you the sunlight. The sunlight is busy work. It is the definition of busy work. And same with Bookshark. It's the same curriculum. I bought it. It's the only curriculum I'm going to return. I bought three years of, of it and I'm going to return it. But anyway, look, so we go through chemistry, biology, physics, geology, astronomy. Okay, so it covers these, what is science? So it starts out really simply, big words, big letters, so not a ton of, my, my problem with apologia, it's not a problem, it's just a personal preference, is they have a lot of text. Because it's, you know, it's not necessarily, like those are family style learning. Same with another family style of learning that I think is really, um, I think is pretty good is the good and the beautiful this is the space unit so i'll just quickly show you some of the space units since i have it here i know i'm jumping all over um but it is interesting but this is again family style learning oh it's so hard to flip with just my one hand um so it does come with two books and what i love about the good and the beautiful is it's like you don't have to do the science experiments if you don't want to but what's really interesting is reading the introduction to space. So it's got 
you know, the dark stuff you read. Now, this one is re has religion mixed in. So, um, so discuss the grandeur of God. So it has the religion mixed in. I prefer religion separate, like just in block text or something, or not at all, just so I can mix, decide how I want to introduce it. So this does not have any of um, that stuff in it. It doesn't have any, any God in it. So if that's not okay with you, don't do it. Um, if you're okay discussing, like to me, God started all this. You know, God is this, right? So it's not, there's no separation for that. Um, so I talk about God. So I don't need it mixed in per se. So it's all personal preference, but so what is science, the introduction? What is chemistry? Now I've shown you in many different videos, the, it comes with your midterms, your final exams, if you want to use them. Um, so I just could not love it more. Let's take a look at, I don't know if you wanted to see more of this book. Here's what is chemistry. See, it has to do with brushing your teeth. So it starts with Barry, the introduction, the history of chemistry. Um, the, you know, so this is basically the building blocks of science. So there's not wasted stuff. And so your child can really understand it. And you could even do it like laying down reading together. If that's the type of relationship you guys have. Now your laboratory notebook, most science programs are like, oh, you know, you only need things that you can find in your kitchen. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> like sunlight, if you've seen um, the equipment lists, that they request, you can pay $79 and get some of them, but it still doesn't come with everything. And to not get the $79 box that Sunlight has in addition to their program, which contains a lot of little obscure parts, I mean, I just wouldn't know how to do it. But this, I'm telling you, these science experiments, they actually really do have things um, that like require ingredients that come right from your kitchen. So now what I like about this as well, is if you have, say you have a neurodiverse child or a child who's not into handwriting, you can handwrite it as well for them and they can do the pictures, okay? So there's not, I guess I, I it bothers me when curriculums assume that by grade one, my, children, my child can write because that is not the case with one of them. Um, so this is the teacher's manual, okay? So doing science. Now I'm gonna show you another amazing one, just for fun. Chemistry Everyday Experiment 2. Think about it, brushing their teeth, shampooing their hair, eating a cooked eggs. These are all examples of activities that they perform every day that involve some aspect of chemistry. So it really does relate it to what you're talking about. All right, now let me show you this. This, the Real Life Science Odyssey, I got it off of thrift books, I just, for grades one through four, everything you need is in this book. Now it's not color pages, but what I love is it's just, it tells you it's just like a math curriculum, which is it starts, like everything's built, each level's built, you know, each terms are, like each level lesson builds on the last one. So I think that is just great. So let me go through to, so here we go, like what is life? So I like that they're big words, big letters, it's not. Sorry, SD card got full. <laughs> That's my fault for not deleting anything ever. So all living things, one, take in energy, we do this by eating, two, get rid of waste, and all three, they move. Although sunlight plants move very slowly, all living things, four, grow and can reproduce or make babies, and all living things have some type of circulation. Now, and it goes on and on, right? So. So this again that I've seen doesn't mention God if that's a thing to you, I don't know. I buy both secular and Christian curriculums. So it's got living and non-living. So I just like that it's very simple to the point. I guess it's very not, it doesn't seem like a ton of busy work. So also a good option if you can find it, if you can find it. It is Real Science Odyssey. And it's funny cause this is, um, this is, let me show you on the side here. It's supposed to say real science for kids. <laughs> well, it is, it's the real science for kids. So, or you can look at building blocks of science, Google that and you should, I don't know if you find that, but real science for kids is what 
this is. All right, there you go. There is some of the best, as far as I'm concerned, science curriculums with an honorable mention to, I don't know, to the good and the beautiful, if you like that sort of thing. Oh, all right. We'll talk to you later. Can you say please like and subscribe? Please like you like. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell for notifications.